Now, the effects of the tsunami can also be felt right here at home. Several families across the Arklatex have been trying to reach friends and loved ones all day. We sat down with an LSU Health Sciences Center professor today whose family lives close to where the earthquake hit. Ioku Sedona says he called and emailed his family as soon as he heard about the disaster, but he has not heard from them. We asked if he's able to, to be optimistic in the face of such uncertainty. I hope that my family is okay. However, uh, at the same time, I learned that uh, several hundred people have already dead or uh, uh, don't know whether they are okay or not. So um, I cannot be optimistic. <laughs> Another local anchor, a news anchor from our sister station was actually on vacation in Japan when the earthquake hit. Donna Britt and her family were able to send an email to family to say that her, her husband and her son survived the massive quake. They're now waiting for a flight home to the U.S. And if you're searching for someone you know, head over to KSLA.com and click on our tsunami coverage banner at the top of the home page. There you can find a special people finder to search for someone or even report information. You'll also find even more video of the tsunami's aftermath as well as special earthquake maps. It's even more coverage you can click on at KSLA.com. Reporting live from the studio, I'm Adam Hooper, KSLA News 12. All right, Adam, how were you affected by the earthquake in Japan and the tsunami? Do you plan to help in any special way? Be sure to let us know on our KSLA News 12 Facebook page. Our coverage continues on the deadly Japanese earthquake and tsunami. We're going to take a look at special aid on its way, as well as local lawmakers getting involved.